that I had in the past being a recruiter. Uh, Ilya and Youssef, uh, they joined the meeting because they are able to add some information and some comments about Kiwi. Okay, so uh, during the call, if you have any question, any comments, please feel free to uh, to ask me. Okay, so let me share my screen. Just a moment. Can you see, guys, my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, let me start now so uh guys i'm gonna present uh 11 tips and what i i wanna uh teach you show you that it's possible to create a strategy to be more prepared for your interview okay that is gonna happen uh this this week so the first uh tip that i would like to to highlight to emphasize is related to resume it's a common tip but in my opinion, it's very important. So the first point is the interview that you are going to have on Thursday is study in a deep way your resume. Memorize the main points, the companies that you already uh, worked before, uh, job titles that you had, uh, main projects that you conduct. Usually when you have an interview, it takes like 40, 45 minutes, okay? So usually the recruiter, the interviewer, is not able to, um, to talk about uh, all details related to uh, your resume. So if you need to focus more energy, more studies, I would recommend you to focus on your current job or your last one, or the job that is connected with the position that you are applying now at Kiwi. Okay, another point uh, that is important to uh, highlight in this section, uh, the bottom of the slide, uh, I say, make sure to prepare yourself to give a quick summary of any project or job you were involved with and to dis discuss the hardest and most interesting problem you encountered along the day. So I highlight this topic because when you have an interview with a candidate with uh, some years of experience, usually you conduct the inter interview making behavioral questions. So what does mean behavioral questions? I'm gonna try to explore uh, in the past, your past experience to forecast, to presume your behavior in the future. Okay, so I'm gonna make questions related to, tell me a situation that you worked with pressure. Tell me um, a situation that you made a mistake in your current job. For example, if you take a look at the description of Kiwi, of your job, Python developer, you say something about a mistake. Tell me a project that you delivered a high uh, result using a Python or C language. Okay, so all the time I'm gonna explore the past to understand uh, your future, to presume your future behavior. Another point, uh, when you receive some questions, usually uh, the candidates, they provide broad answers, not direct to the point. So try to provide answers direct to the point and always connect with a concrete situation, okay? Give an example. What is the main difference between you and me is the experience that you have. So if I ask you, tell me a strength, tell me a weakness. Uh, if you ask me, I can say to you, oh, one of my strengths is communication. It's too broad to say just communication. So try to explain a little bit. I want to say, oh, my strength is communication. Uh, in my last job, uh, my managers always provide this positive feedback for me. And uh, during two years, I worked as a professor in a university in Brazil. So I was able to develop a lot of this skill. You know, it's more concrete, this kind of answer, than just say uh, uh, communication. If I, if I need to say one weakness, try to say your weakness, try to give an example very quickly and say how you are trying to solve this weakness, how you are trying to develop this point in your career. Makes sense for you guys? It's okay up, up to now? So far, so good. Okay, perfect. Another point related to this slide is the question, tell me about yourself. 
So I am 100% sure every interview that you are going to have, they are going to make this question for you. Usually this question appears in the beginning of the interview. So you are not so comfortable, you are nervous, you are insecure. So prepare previously this speech. Usually this speech takes like one minute, one minute and a half, two minutes, but it needs to be connected with the position that you are applying. Okay, so I'm going to give you my example, my personal example, okay, just to inspire you in a correct way. So suppose that I'm, I, my background is human resource. Suppose that I'm applying for a recruiter position in Canada, is the country that I live now. So I'm going to say, hi, my name is Julia. I am a human resource professional with more than six years of experience. During my career, I worked for two main companies. The first one, it was Votorentim Cimentos. Okay, there I invest five years of my career and I had three different positions. So I worked with training and development, recruitment and selection. And my last position, I was business partner. Now I am working for uh, Van Hack. Van Hack is a Canadian company that helps connect uh, tech talents with companies around the world. And my main responsibility is to help my clients, our clients, to become more attractive to the market. So I help with LinkedIn, curriculum, and I provide some interview sections. You know, uh, my tell me about, about myself, I highlight my job title, I highlight the years of experience. I didn't explain the business of Votentin Cementos, okay? I make a connection that I worked in a Canadian company because now I am applying for a position in Canada as well. And I highlight my current job because my current job is connected with the position that I'm applying for a new, uh, a new job that is, in this case, is a recruiter. So it is okay, guys, um, up to now, it's clear. Can I move to the next slide? Yeah, I just wanted to yeah. mention one thing, Julia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feel free, Yosef. Um, so sorry, so the, the initial interview that you're gonna have, uh, guys, with Kiwis, uh, with Katharina, it's gonna be about, it's about 20 minutes long. Um, oh, and, okay. And it's just okay. about, uh, it's really going to be about uh, finding out more about your expectations, kind of your job preferences, and then also oh, about okay. the opportunity at Kiwi. So a lot of the, okay. a lot of this content is awesome for, for what Julia's talking about, but just keep in mind that it's just going to be a quick 20 minutes or so. Um, so to keep kind of your responses to be as, um, as direct and to the point as well, and also mm -hmm. be prepared to talk about why you want to be at Kiwi as well, which will, Ilya and I will help to cover at the end here. Uh, but mm -hmm. just to kind of keep that in mind as you're, you're going to go through steps in this interview process. And the mm -hmm. first one, um, the first one's going to be really more just to get you, get to know you guys a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, guys, uh, the second slide is related to the job description. So now we start to create our strategy. Usually when you have an interview, usually the candidates don't invest time to understand what kind of profile the company want to hire, okay, wants to hire. And it's very important, this process, because when you, when you start to uh, understand what kind of profile the company wa wants to hire, you will start to exercise your mind for possible questions that you are going to receive. So always, when you have an interview, even if it's two, 20 minutes, okay, pay attention to the job description of the vacancy. Pay attention in some keywords, okay, soft skills that they require, technical skills, okay, and you start to exercise your mind for possible questions that you are going to receive. For example, in this case, when I check very quickly uh, the QE job description, um, pay me, uh, I pay attention in some keywords, like for example, reliability, uh, mistake, uh, a, pa a passion uh, in what you are doing with your life, Okay, uh, you need to master Python, you need to master C language. So we start to think about some questions that possible you are gonna receive. For example, related to mistake, I can ask you, tell me a feedback that you received from your manager in your current job related to a mistake that you made. How did you solve this mistake? Did you learn with this mistake? Are you repeating this mistake? So try to think about some questions that possible you are gonna receive, 
okay? The next slide is related to LinkedIn. So sorry. another is... Sorry, yeah, Julie, I, just, I, just want, I just want to add one more thing on the... Yeah, 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 feel free. So for the job description, you guys know it. Um, and maybe, Ellie, you can add to this as well, because we were both uh, we both had the call with the CTO of the company. Um, you know, these guys, these guys work hard, fast, um, and they have a lot of fun at the same time. So... They're really dedicated in terms of in terms of hours and so on. But one of the things that they want to keep in mind is that, and they had this in the job description as well, is that you're passionate and dedicated enough um, to the uh, to the opportunity here with the company that you may be willing to work extended hours or dedicated hours when needed. But at the flip side of that, they also have this amazing vacation policy and so on as well. So keep that in mind that there there will be questions uh, probably geared to that in some way of the expectations of how passionate, you know, you are to your work. Um, and, you know, if, if you're going to be willing to do those, to, to go that extra mile as well. So uh, there is the, there is the job description in the, in the prep guide. Just, just have a quick look over on that as well. Okay. Uh, could, could I just ask you something? Um, uh, I applied to a couple place, uh, a couple positions in Van Haka. I don't really know anymore what one is referred to the QE. We never know what's the, the company, and I just can't find. Yeah, the yeah. Um, the the Kiwi position is the one with it's the Python developer position. Okay. Um, I <laughs> and can send uh, you Rodrigo, did you Wait. receive uh, the interview preparation guide? Mm, no, I no. Don't. Are you participating in Slack uh, channel, Kiwi Slack channel? Mm, no, no, as well. Actually, okay. I, I'm not as well. Okay. I, I, I invited you guys earlier today. What I will do though is after the call, we'll ensure that we email the guide out to you guys mm -hmm. as well. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, guys, uh, the next step is related to LinkedIn. Okay. So always when you have an interview, feel comfortable to ask to the company who is going to interview you. When you know uh, the name of the person, search on LinkedIn, his or her profile. Because when you have the profile, again, you will start to suppose some questions that probably you are gonna receive and what kind of interview you are gonna have. So for example, Catherine is from Human Resource. So um, pay attention how long she's in Kiwi, okay? How long she works being a technical, uh, a recruiter for technical guys. This is very important. Uh, some weeks ago, I was talking with a client from Van Hack, and he sent me um, a LinkedIn profile of a recruiter. And I say to him, hey, feel confident because she's working at that company just for months. So she's not able to make uh, trick questions, a lot of questions related to the culture, values, because she's, she doesn't have time enough, okay? Or for example, my case, I am uh, working in the technical field, IT field, just one year. So I don't have time enough to make trick questions about technical field. Okay, and uh, if you are going to have a technical interview with a technical guy, pay attention to uh, the knowledge, uh, the skills, the projects that this guy conducted. Usually, we make questions related to the field that we master. Okay, so it's the same in my case. If I need to interview um, a human resource professional, I'm going to make questions related to recruitment and selection and training and development. Because it's my strengths, you can take a look my LinkedIn. I'm not going to make questions related to compensation or employment law because I don't have experience in this field. Okay, so always when you have an interview, pay attention on LinkedIn profile and exercise your mind for uh, some questions that probably you are going to receive. Okay. The next point is an important slide, is related to company. So always, uh, when you have an interview, usually you invest a lot of time in the technical field, and this is important, okay, to be studying, try to develop your technical skills, but it's also very, very important to study about the company, okay? Uh, being a company, when you need to select somebody, okay, always you need to, you are going to analyze if the candidate match with the culture, match with the business of the company. And um, 
in my past experience, when I was in Votorantim Cimentos, and I asked um, why you would like to belong to Votorantim, why you would like to become a Votorantim employee, it's quite a common. Usually the people give to us broad cliche answers. Don't do that. Make a connection. Make a, a connection between you and the company. Show the company that you searched previously. Okay. So when I make this kind of question, usually the candidate says to me, Julia, I would like to belong to Votorantin because Votorantin is a big company, one of the leaders of the market. Your competitors is going to say the same. So make a connection between you and Kiwi being a travel uh, company. Okay, uh, make a connection between you and the position, the technologies that the, the, the position require and you have. Okay, make a connection between you and the culture, the values. So when I uh, checked the Kiwi website, I make, um, I, know, I see uh, one word, be unusual. Uh, we are an unusual company and we would like to have unusual individuals. Okay, so try to think, um, for example, in a question, uh, say me something curious about your career, unusual about your career, okay? So try to, uh, to exercise your mind for some questions related to business uh, values and culture of the company. Another point, just one example. Some weeks ago, I was helping a guy from Van Hack, and he applied for a position in a company uh, in Vancouver. The name of the company is, is uh, Thinking Fic. Uh, the company produces online course. And when I asked to him, I was making a practice with questions and answer. And when I asked to him, why do you want to belong to Thinking Fic? He told me, Julia, I value a lot education. And I, I, as I say to him, it's a cliche answer. So, so tell me more about this aspect. And he told me, Julia, I am a consumer of online course. And when he was explaining me about uh, his family, he told me, I grew up in a family uh, that values education because my parents, they are a professors in Brazil. You know, he got it at uh, the point. He make a concrete connection between his history and thinking fake business. Okay, so try to make a connection between uh, Kiwi business guys. Another point, uh, country and city. All the clients that I talked uh, from Van Hack recently, they received this question. Why do you want to move? Why do you want to leave Brazil and move it to, uh, to the country, for example, in this case, Czech Republic? And usually when I make this question, I receive this answer. They focus a lot in the problems of Brazil political and economic problems. Don't do that. Emphasize, highlight the positive points of Republic Czech, uh, Czech Republic, about the city that you are gonna uh, move, okay? Make real connections, because I'm sure you are gonna receive uh, questions like, what do you know about uh, Czech Republic? What do you think is gonna be your biggest challenge moving to our country, to our city? Be prepared, study before, okay, your interview. Any comments, Youssef, that you wanna uh, do in this slide or you prefer to, uh, no, to just, talk? No, just uh, uh, for all of this stuff here, we've uh, in the interview prep guide, which we just emailed out to you guys as well, um, we've actually put a link um, and Kiwi's done a really great job of actually putting together the, the answers to these questions. And so there's a whole part about why you would want to relo relocate to Bruno, which is the, uh, the city uh, where the company is located as well. So by all means, we can review that and we can go over a little bit of that afterwards as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, amazing. Um, the next point is related to interview. So always, when we ask to the company, what is the most valuable soft skills that you are looking for in the candidates? Always we receive this answer, communication, okay? So uh, be prepared to provide great answers during your interview. So uh, try to, uh, to provide answers direct to the point, not too broad, okay? And try to communicate in a clear, concise manner. To help you guys, usually we recommend to use this methodology, CAR. So C as a contest, A as an action, R is result. So if I ask to you, tell me a, a project that you were very proud of with the result, and you use Python. 
highlight a little bit very quickly the context of the project. So you can mention the client that you worked, how many people uh, was working with you, uh, what is the biggest challenge of this project. After that, you need to highlight and invest more time about your actions. Always you say to me, oh, Julia, uh, I worked in this project in a team. I know that you work in a team. But as a recruiter, my focus is in you. I want to know your responsibilities, your actions. So highlight this point during an interview. And if it's possible, mention the results, okay? If you increase the budget, if you increase the indicators, the, the satisfaction of the client, or any other results that you achieved. This methodology, as I told you, you can use for every question. If I make this question for you, Tell me a mistake that you made in your current job. In this case, you need to be strategy, okay? Tell a little bit about the con contest. Say very quickly your mistake, in this case is the action, and highlight the results. In this case, the result is what did you learn? How did you solve the problem? Always re remember, you uh, can establish your strategy during the interview and you can guide the mind of the recruiter, the interviewer, to the positive point. So in this question, tell me a mistake, the positive point is how did you solve the problem? What did you learn? And sometimes the candidate uh, spend, invest a lot of time saying the mistake. If you do that, if you give a lot of details about your, your mistake, being a recruiter, I'm gonna be curious, okay, to explore your mistake. So guide the mind of the recruiter to the positive point. The next slide, guide is not your case, so I'm gonna explain very quickly. When you have a, a technical problem solving, don't be silent, okay? Try to share your line of thinking. When you share your line of thinking, you give the possibility to the recruiter, to, under, to uh, the interviewer, understand your mind. So if you give the wrong answer, uh, they can uh, give some positive points because you share your line of thinking, if it's correct, okay? And sometimes they can help you. They can guide you. Even if the recruiter, the interviewer is in silent, they can demonstrate for you some body language. So notes Okay, note this process. So always when you receive a technical problem, share your, um, your line of thinking. Another point I already mentioned that, so always when a company needs to choose the best candidate, they analyze you in three different perspectives, company, team, and technical skills. So if you receive this question, um, why do you wanna belong to Kiwi? Try to answer, uh, in three different points, okay? So first, mention that you match with the company business, the company profile. Mention, also mention that you have the technical skills. You are able to start the job and deliver results to the company, okay? When a company wants to hire people outside of the country, they are looking for... Uh, you, you're frozen, you're frozen. Is it only me? Uh, I can <clears throat> no connection problem. Julia, you still there? Ah, we might have lost her. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, while while we're ready, I'm sure we'll connect back here. Uh, do you guys have any questions so far? I don't think so. Uh, can you send us already the, the link you told before that it was going to send us? I received it. Yeah, I, I sent it already, Rodrigo. Oh, I see. Uh, on the email. Um, yeah, so that, I think the, the link there, so with the, with the link there, a lot of the things that Julie was talking about that'll help you guys give some background are within there as well. Um, so in terms of why you want to relocate, um, it has a really good three minute video um, talking about mm -hmm. Planet Kiwi as well, uh, which um, I would do. Let me ask a question. Sure, by all means. Uh, in the job description, I remember they were saying that there were Kiwi uh, units in various cities around Europe. But this position is just for Bruno. What? I guess you're... No, okay. 
Yeah, Leonardo. The, Ilya, are you still there? Yeah, yeah. So, sorry, guys. I'm just working yeah. on something else um, that came up urgently. Um, yeah, so the job, actually, you can work in uh, a number of different cities. Um, mm -hmm. I think Barcelona um, and somewhere in Slovakia. I don't know the exact list, um, but I think they have a, a list of offices uh, on their website. They also um, had something in... Yeah, I checked the job board from QE and it, said, it tells the Python developers for Barcelona. Yeah, but the, we talked to the CTO and he said that you, you can work anywhere. They don't really care. Um, so you can work in Barcelona, you can work in, in Czech Republic, you can work in other offices that they have, which I will look up and tell you. Uh, but basically, they, they're open to bring you in, anywhere there. For them, it's more just having you in an office in Europe or uh, like in their offices rather than um, being in a specific city. Yeah, I would like very much the list because so I can make the best decision for me. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I had to look uh, about like cost in various cities and yeah. I would need to ask as a salary. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, know, cool, let me find it. Yeah, do you know how many positions is it, it's open? Ten. There's ten positions, yeah. Oh. That's great. Yeah, so you guys have a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of jobs. Jobs for everyone. Yeah, and there's a... Uh, they only interviewed uh, nine people so far, I think, so, yeah. Yeah, and just, just to, uh... Just to reiterate that it's a, it's a lot of a, it's, they seem like they're a, a really fun company to work with um, at the same time that they, they work really, really hard. So, you know, that was kind of the, the, the feedback we got with their CTO. Their CTO is a lot of fun as well. So, you, you know, that perspective. So to keep, you know, keep that in mind that it's, it's really, a, from a cultural standpoint, because that's the kind of position you're looking for. Um, yeah. you, know, you could, you could really grow with them from that perspective as well. That's very interesting. I'm trying to find, I, I can't find all their offices. Sorry guys, I lost my connection, but I'm back. Uh, can I continue, it's okay? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, so uh, let me share again. So, uh, did you guys, did you hear uh, the answer of the question? No. Why do you want to, okay. So, uh, just to highlight, if you receive this question, why do you want to become Kiwi employee, belong Kiwi? Try to answer this question, uh, connect with three perspectives. So, the first perspective, the first point is connect you with the company, with the business, okay? After that, say to the company, try to show that you have the technical skills that the company is looking for. Always, when a company needs to hire people outside of the country, they are, lo they are looking for somebody that have the skills, they are mature, have experience, okay? So you need to prove during the interview that you have the skills to arrive in the job and deliver results. And say to the company that this position and the company is aligned with your career expectation. When you mention that, you prove to the company that you are able to work in the present and in the future. So you prove that you are able to establish a long-term relationship with the company, okay? And always the company value uh, this kind of approach. The next point, very quickly, is related to questions. So when you have an interview, usually uh, you are able to have like 10 minutes in the end to make some questions to the company. So use this time in a strategic way. Make questions that helps you to make a decision Okay, if this company um, it's aligned with your expectation or not, and make questions that impact positively the recruiter, the interviewer. When I was at Votorentim Cementos, rarely uh, a candidate make a smart question for me. Okay, and usually the candidates say, "Oh, I'm gonna create the question during the interview." Usually this doesn't happen because when you are in an interview, you are in a pressure. Your focus is to answer questions, not to create questions, okay? So prepare the, the questions previously. Related to English, so uh, feel confident with your English. They know that you are not a native speaker, okay? So feel confident to say, hey, can you repeat the question? What does uh, this word mean? 
And usually I stimulate our clients to use Skype because Skype, it's a nice tool or Zoom uh, to see uh, the, uh, the recruiter, the interviewer. And if you don't understand the question, guys, um, say, please, can you type the question? It's better to have this kind of behavior and prove that you have a nice English related to your answer than don't understand the question, provide a wrong or superficial answer. Always remember, when you are in an interview, you are in a competition. Okay, and your answer make the difference to go to the next step or not. The next point is related to HR, human resource. So in this week, you are gonna have um, an interview with human resource. Value this step. I know that it's 20 minutes, okay? But put attention in this stage of your uh, selective process. Human resource has a whole in the interview. He, he has knowledge to evaluate if you have the approach with the company, if you match with the team, okay? And in general, in a broad way, if you have the main skills of the position. And my last tip is connected with my first advice is always establish your strategy and say what the interviewer wanna listen from you. How do you create this kind of feeling? What the recruiter wanna listen from me? If you study, if you understand what kind of profile the company is looking for. Uh, related to that, I just want to highlight that you can't lie, but you are able to omit some details if it's not important to say. Some weeks ago, I was coaching a client and I asked to him, tell me a project that you are very proud of. And he told me, he explained me that he was uh, chosen in a group to uh, go to travel to Chicago and conduct um, a project in Chicago, you know? And he was explaining me a, a little bit about the technical details about the project. And during his speech mention, uh, the, the technical project was easy. And I said to him, as a recruiter, I didn't ask to you if the project was complex or not. So you don't need to give me this detail because these details the, don't contribute for your process, okay? So always remember, say what the recruiter wanna uh, listen from you. Guys, I finished my, my PowerPoint. So now I wanna hear from you and Yusef, Ilya, if you have comments or questions.